There is a box in every crafter's home that is filled with old, unfinished projects and stuff you thrifted in the hopes of upcycling that becomes abandoned, that becomes forgotten. Well, this is the series that tackles that forgotten box. This is the Style Pile. The items that I'm pulling out from the Style Pile box today are these two loose-fitting, slightly oversized t-shirts. Now, in the past, I've usually just styled and worn oversized tees by tying them up like so with a hair tie, but that doesn't look awesome, and we can make it fit more nicely than this with just a tiny bit more work. So today, I'm going to be chopping these tees up to turn them into cute tie-up crop tops. So I started off with this loose fitting t-shirt that I got from the thrift shop for $4. This t-shirt also has a small kind of nasty looking stain on it that I wanted to get rid of. It's not showing up well on camera, but yeah, it's definitely there. So I wanted to use this tee in a project where I would be able to get rid of that stain. So I figured out the point that I wanted to crop the t-shirt to. Usually this is just above my belly button, but you can choose wherever you would like on your own body. Then I drew a line with chalk at this point. I also measured the length from the chalk line to the bottom of the t-shirt which was eight inches on my t-shirt. Next, I drew on two more chalk lines that were also eight inches up from the bottom of the t-shirt at the sides of the T, and I extended these lines around to the back just past the side seams. Then I flipped the T over so the back was facing up and I joined these two side lines up with one long line of chalk using a ruler to make sure this line was straight. So next I cut up one side seam and then I cut straight across this chalk line and then back down the other side seam of the t-shirt. Then I flipped the t-shirt back around to the front and then next I folded it in half like this to create a crease exactly down the middle of the t-shirt. And then I drew a vertical chalk line directly on top of this crease. Next I extended the vertical line three inches up from the first chalk line that I drew on the t-shirt. Then I cut straight up this chalk line with my pair of scissors. The last step was to draw a curved line that looks like this. The curved line goes from that side chalk mark down to the middle slit and it tapers off in a triangle shape like this. And then I cut along this line with my scissors. To make sure that the crop t-shirt would be symmetrical, next I folded it in half again like this and I traced around the shape that I cut out with my chalk. Then I unfolded it and I cut up this line here. And now I'm done with the cropping. Now an optional step is to adjust the sleeve length and permanently cuff the sleeves at this length. I did this by folding the sleeves up once, then twice like this, and then tacking in a couple of stitches at four points around the sleeves. Here, 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 and here. To do this, I used a needle and a thread and I hand sewed. I simply sewed up and down through the cuff a couple of times in one spot, tied off the thread at the back, and that's it. And this is what it looks like. Now this was a short and simple DIY that can be completed in about 10 to 20 minutes and it's a great project to try out if you're new to upcycling your clothes, especially as it doesn't require a sewing machine. I get a lot of comments that say, I wish I could upcycle or sew my own clothes, but I just don't have the skills. But I promise you, this is a project that pretty much anybody can do. And if you don't bother with the sleeve shortening, then all you need for this project is a t-shirt, a pair of scissors, some chalk, and a spare 10 minutes. Also, one more note is that t-shirt fabric doesn't fray, so you don't need to worry about finishing off the raw edges of the fabric. All you gotta do is snip, 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 and you're done. Also, I just wanted to give a shout out to everyone who came to meet me or see me on the mental health panel at VidCon Australia last week. I had the best time meeting you all and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. I've been absolutely exhausted and recovering from VidCon all week, so that's why I chose this relatively simple project to do today. I hope that you guys understand, and I also hope that some of you found this project useful or inspiring nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon who help to keep this channel running and allow me to continue making videos for you all. To become a supporter, and seriously, just $1 a month helps out so much, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.